Okay, today I am going to try out waypoints with my iNav on the Nano Goblin. Um, I got a Bluetooth UART adapter, but it is very inconsistent. It doesn't connect all the time. So what I ended up getting was this guy. It is a little Speedy B. So what it does is you plug it in your USB slot and then you connect via Bluetooth with your phone and it works really well. Um, it doesn't power itself so I made a little balance tap so that I can power the Speedy B with the two cell LiPo that's in there and I can power the flight control with the other end. So um, I'm gonna try this. I'm here at the middle school I uh, like to fly at. So I'm going to put one waypoint probably over there by the soccer goals and then one on the north end of the field and then probably one right in front of me. So I'll just set three up and um, we'll see how it goes. The Speedy B app on the Android phone is fantastic. Um, it's almost a slimmed down version of iNav. So here I am in the mission planner part. All I am doing is tapping on the screen where I want my waypoints to go, making sure that the first waypoint is within 300 feet of my location. I'd go in and adjust the altitude to 4,000 centimeters, that was about 130 feet, and I had to adjust the speed to 1,250 centimeters per second, which is about 28 miles per hour. As soon as I put the aircraft into waypoint mode, did all four of the waypoints. This is the second or third one, the one that is um, far north, and then it turned around and it did the one that was closest to the tennis courts, and then it went back to the next one that I did that was to the north end of the football field, and then as it comes to the final waypoint, it just circles overhead until I switch flight modes. What makes this nice is I can concentrate on other things, and I can switch to manual and then back to waypoint and it'll repeat the mission. All right, so I'm in waypoint mode and I just flipped the switch and it's going to the one that is way to the north end of the football field. Yeah, it's kind of futile. You can't even see it. And then it makes a nice aggressive turn and it comes back to the one that I did that was kind of above, there's some tennis courts below me. And then now it's going back to the one that is toward the north end of the football field. And then now it's going to go to the waypoint that I put that's kind of above my head. And then now it's going to stay into loiter mode, if you can even see it. There it is. And so this is kind of neat. I would have liked it to be able to just sit there and repeat the mission. But all I need to do is just flip it out of waypoint mode and then flip it right back and it will repeat the mission. So waypoint mission was a success. Pretty cool. I really like that Speedy B micro USB to Bluetooth adapter. I don't always have my computer with me, but I always have my phone and I'll keep that little adapter in my flight box. So if I need to make waypoints or any adjustments, it'll be there. Thanks for watching.